should ninjas be to blame if they think someone's dead? Is Sarada at fault for Sowegi's death because like Sarada didn't confirm the kill of the claw grime? Some other examples I think are very applicable would be Sasuke versus Killer B when Sasuke uses Genjutsu on B. I mean, Sasuke had a lack of information, so you could say that's not his fault. He just didn't know that perfect Jinchuriki could just resist that. It's like, by all intents and purposes, he didn't Sasuke know that B was a perfect Jinchuriki anyway. Yeah. So, for all intents and purposes, there was no reason for Sasuke to not assume that, but it's still an assumption that he made that led to what would have been his death. It, he still would yeah, have I mean, died because of it. Yeah, especially for the startup one. I wouldn't say Sarada's is at fault because that was a, a different claw grime came out anyway. Like, didn't yeah. a new one just pop out? Like, so that claw grime was dead. That's just a different claw grime. In some cases, I don't think to blame, but like, you know, you're, if you're trying to kill them and then you, you knock them down <laughs> so and funny. you don't confirm the Pardon kill first, I mean, is that free game? You just leave them on the ground get up and leave i would say yeah you're to blame for not making sure you did your job all right but if it's so, it just depends on context she used chidori on a claw grime and then just didn't check if the claw grime was getting up or not like she didn't turn on her sharingan she didn't do anything and then that claw grime or you could say a different claw grime, whatever uh it turned around it, it ate so eggy because she didn't confirm the kill are you blaming sorry yeah, are you saying that I know, but either way. But that's not what happened. But either way, the point is she was caught off guard when she shouldn't have, is Mara's argument. So do you think Sarada should have confirmed that, or was it a reasonable assumption for her to assume it's dead? Well, she doesn't know what it is. Yeah. It's clearly not something normal. Yeah. I don't, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if she knows what it is. Like, I don't think her to assume that she killed it would be reasonable. If she doesn't even know what it is. All right. And I've always had a problem with Sarda not activating her Sharon gun. That's just always had a problem with me. I feel like she should have activated, especially like just in a fight with Cold. I'm you glad just, you agree. That's just something you, sh you should have that on. Yeah. Um, especially like knowing he's more powerful than you. Like the Sharon gun is definitely beneficial. Well, one of the mm -hmm. arguments used yeah, was, well, Boruto did the same thing, so we got to use double standards and apply it to Boruto. Boruto clearly has more knowledge on them, so he should know when or when they aren't dead. Uh, or he could also sense them. Yeah. Like, we don't know his nah. sensory capabilities, so I don't think he would be caught off guard. Plus, he's way stronger anyways, so I don't think getting caught off guard is yeah. like an issue for him, even if he was. And then uh, he's using his sword. We don't know what he's doing to his sword or like what properties his sword has. Like it has flying raijin apparently. So he could just have an anti-claw grime sword for some reason. He's also seen Sasuke kill claw grimes before. So he should know what it takes to put them down, whereas Sarada didn't. Yeah, like Boruto shows a level of confidence that we just never seen Sarada show ever. Um, and that's like, that's Sasuke's sword. Sasuke doesn't have just a normal sword. Like his sword is, is uh is like, extremely special it's like orochimaru or something well, he's made of the same material that he used against like yamato D. yeah his kusanagi sword so from sword shibuden like burned up in kaguya's dimension so this is a new sword that he has in boruto we don't know much about the sword but yeah mm -hmm. i think it's the sharpest sword he's ever had even sharper than the one yeah. in shibuden but yeah yeah, so I imagine this is like a good sword. And yeah, it's just like Boruto just has more knowledge on the niggas, so he knows what's going on. But yeah, I, I think she should have her shit going, like, pretty much. Especially like when she and did she ever activate the Sharon gun? I don't I don't remember seeing it. It's, it's debatable. What happened to her <laughs> Mongekyo, bro? <laughs> Where did that go? Uh, you're gonna have to ask I that. I forgot about that shit. Hold on. One thing I will say, though, for Sarda here in her defense, that claw grind was not the first one she killed. She just killed several with Chidori's and Fireball Jutsu's moments earlier. So I think it would be reasonable to assume that another Chidori will work or whatever she used on this latest one. But does she know those were I dead either? Say. Like, just because they're not moving doesn't mean they're dead. Well, like, they she has a shot on. She can yeah. check whether or not the chakra is flowing within them. Like, she can see color with her Sharingan. Well, yeah, we, um, my thing is, is like, how do we know these things operate the same way as, well, everything else we've seen in the verse? We are talking, these are tentails, like yeah. humanoids. Forgive me, I know we are. So um, they could operate, so their biology could be a lot different, including their chakra. 
I mean, that's fair, but if it's... I mean, the chakra definitely is different to some extent. I mean, but... to yeah. be fair, can we even say that these things are alive in order to be killed in the first place? Again, this goes back to what even is Death and Naruto. Do, do, do these individual claw grimes have a soul? They shouldn't have a soul, because at this given point, they're just now developing consciousness. Well, I mean... It's kind of weird to say because the Ten Tails in general was described as just not having like feelings and stuff. So like, um, well, I mean, instinct doesn't imply no. So, but that doesn't mean it's not alive. Because even yeah. like a tree in general, as far as the Naruto verse goes, it's not implied that every random tree has a soul. But you wouldn't say that the trees aren't alive. So. Also, I would say that's cap. That Ten Tails absolutely had feelings. I was freaking angry. Oh, I mean, no. you could take it up with Karama, but... I will. Um, I mean, yeah, Karama, the angry tail beast. <laughs> yeah, she just never activated her charm. <laughs> I think That's it was debatable yeah. whether she did when she used the Chidori, but that was it. I noticed that when I was watching Anime Balls Deep um, video, reviewing, uh, I think, chapters, was it two or three, when she had activated her Chidori and just was blitzing right through the Claw Grimes. They mentioned that she had her Sharagon activated, and I was just like, no. I was like, she didn't have her um, Sharagon activated, because if you look closely at the pictures, there's no white pupils with the circles and magatamas in there, or any indication of that within the panels, so I we can't know for certain if she activated yeah, I mean, her Sharagon. Look real quick. Yeah. Um, this this panel like. is debatable, because you really just can't tell. Well, besides this, her eyes are like black all the time. Yeah, this pretty much. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so well, you could say those are her long eyelashes, which uh, Jura has. So Sarada is Jura. Wait, what? Yeah. Uh, Booty. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, honestly, it doesn't look like they're really showing her eyes. You're just showing her eyelashes there. Like. Yeah. And then the so, one below it impossible. is too far away for me to tell, and she's also done the Chidori. Someone so. use an AI upscale. The only thing is, okay, I mean, it's possible that um, she just used Chidori without her Sharingan, but if that's the case, <laughs> it kind of just goes back to, like, Naruto lore, where you're not supposed to do that, so then it's like, well, why are you doing that, bro? Like, you know better than to do that, so why are you not activating it? Yes, there's... Sardis potential sharing gun. <laughs> yeah. Is it AI upscaled? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm trying to. Well, yeah. I think that would be zooming zooming. zoomed out to be worthwhile. <laughs> AI upscale is not going to work. <laughs> it just. It what just, does the sound? Funny. The AI just in creates a Mon Gecko sharing gun that just knows. <laughs> so, what is the sound effect for when Sasuke or anyone else activates the sharing gun? Usually just like that. I mean, I can't really mimic the sound, but like you, you well, know not, the sound. Well, the <laughs> well, we know the sound, but it's just like the sound effects on manga. You know, this is actually kind of funny. I don't think Sasuke was even using his sharing gun when he was fighting Code in the Claw Grime. <laughs> Definitely, he no, he didn't even use his. Um, I don't know. I don't think it showed it. Oh, his let me EMS. Check, but... He didn't even use his EMS or anything. So, and it's kind of interesting I mean, how he hell? was able. What is, what is he thinking? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's at this given point. Maybe he's probably confident he could take Code on without his EMS, but that's like too risky because Code is could be at like an entirely different level than he was when he first activated his Karma Seal. Well, his well got his limiters removed at all. Period. All right, there's your AI up. Even if Code didn't have his limiters off, current Sasuke should be using his EMS on Code. Exactly. Like not taking any chances or any risks. We did see that he got into a scuffle Those with are Code. Eyelashes, bro. <laughs> what about this one? The second one uh, is really hard to tell. Uh, yeah, they, too they don't. They don't really. It's AI upscaled. Yeah, it's, and it's still too blurry. That's <laughs> that's crazy. But still, none of these indicate that her Sharingan was activated. Not even in the first image, because like though there is like lighting in her eyes, but it's like it's weird. Yeah. It's weird. I don't trust Ikimoto to draw. Dude, dude messes up karma seals going in and out in half the chapters. Chapter five. I in chapter say, five. In terms of the Sarada thing, I will say 
if Melo's gonna give a clear to Sarada there, then he's being a hypocrite with Kaguya and Ishiki. Ishiki was off guard. No, he shouldn't have been expecting it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, one or the other. I would agree with that there. Can't like, have your cake and eat it too. Like, I'm great if we... If there was, like, building tension to it, but the way it's been explained to us is that Ishiki just literally didn't imagine that was going to happen. Exactly. Um, it's the same Amato as modern makes Zetsu. it seem like he... We don't know if he actually knows her motives, but he at least pretends to not know her motives. Ishiki seemingly didn't know her motives because he didn't tell Amato, as far as we know. But so, it, yeah, he just... It's like modern and Black Zetsu. It's literally what I just he said. Didn't, yeah. <laughs> no. Like, yeah, he could sense Black Zetsu probably, but he had no reason to assume that Black Zetsu would ever betray him for any reason. Like, why yeah. would he expect that? Exactly. And I think Melo doesn't have a problem with the Black Zetsu thing either. At least I haven't heard him talk about it. So, and if he had a problem with it, I feel like he would have talked about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if he has a problem with Ishiki getting backstabbed, I don't know. Like, bro, if you're going to have a, a problem, his complaint should be, like, Ishiki being near death because, you know, he should be too strong or something. It, it, I feel like that's a better thing to argue about than the fact that he got off-guarded. That's like, the thing, There's something bro. wrong with that. I'm telling you, his arguments are coming from bias. He's only choosing this side of the argument because he likes Kage. He's only choosing this side of the argument to rep uh, Sarada because he's a Sarada fan. He and like, sorry, yeah, yeah, and he wants Kaguya to be the strongest. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that then because I'm like, it doesn't make sense. There's what, what's wrong? I think, <laughs> like, I, do you think but, she's to blame for not checking if the claw grime was alive or not? Going back to the bar of mellow conversation, no, I don't think she was to blame. I think she thought that she took him out, and like, what's the point of like, like, she looked back just to confirm that it was down, it was down. I don't see if she was at fault of anything. She didn't know the... I mean, I guess she could have analyzed further because it's an unknown enemy. She doesn't know its abilities. Yeah. But as far as she's seen from killing other claw grime and stuff like that, like, once they're down, they're down. So, I don't know. I don't blame her. But I think that's the point is I mean, that the thing she for didn't me know. Is me so, like, for example, hypothetically, no, but the, the, flip this whole situation. And then, and then you have those guards there, too, that was, like, taking her off guard and stuff like that. So, like, her attention was elsewhere while trying to pay attention to that claw grind. And she caught it fast enough to be able to notice it coming. So she wasn't that. But it's because she didn't know that she should have checked. Like, hypothetically, switching the situation on its head, if she did check, it's because she didn't know. We're not going to critique that because she's being overly cautious because she just doesn't know yeah that's true yeah here is the no, critique agree, is she's being but, underly yeah, I, cautious she yeah know. i mean yeah. i agree on both sides but okay. yeah. yeah i mean for me the the biggest thing about this though is the problem go wasn't there, so. that it was alive the problem wasn't that it was alive <laughs> it's just like it was dead 